What's up guys, how you doing? It is good to be back in the studio. Happy 2021, everybody. <sighs> Have you ever wondered how Instagrammers and YouTubers get awesome photos like this? Or this? Or even this one? I used to, until I bought the Polar Pro Dome for my GoPro Hero 5, 6, 7, or 8, I believe. Was it for the 8 as well? I think so. It comes with a neoprene case. The front is not removable or replaceable. That's why the case is so important because you don't want to scratch this up. It comes with a little plug and it comes with a cleaner, which is a little bit awkward because you're gonna have to slide it in there and clean the inside if you get any debris in there. Also comes with this awesome handle, which I'm a big fan of. Now this thing cost me Two hundred and ninety-seven zlotys, which is quite a lot of money. I think it's on the seventy, eighty dollar mark. Um, and it said, "Water repellents do not use any type of Rain X product intended um, for glass. It may ruin your dome." I did buy it, as you can see, but I bought that before I read it. I never used it. I found out the best way to get the water like droplets off this, because they will start appearing, is to just spit on it, and that is the best way to do it. Now, as the GoPro Hero 9 came out, and it's a completely different size, it won't fit in the 50-50 for that. Old 50-50, new 50-50. I like that Polar Pro has gone with the whole eco, you know, it's, it's, it's nice. It's good for the earth. Thank you guys. I'll be reviewing this soon as well. So they bought out this monster. And it, look, look at this thing. Look at it. Just, just check that out. It, it looks dangerous. It does look dangerous. It's got this kind of rubber sleeve that you take off to reveal. Ugh. It's called the Defender H2O, by the way. It's not just a rubber sleeve to reveal the beautiful dome. It comes with the Defender HTO, it comes with a dome, and it comes with a dome plug. Also comes with nice cloth, and that's about it. Oh, and also comes with two water repellent wipes, gently rub onto lens until solution turns clear. You only get two, so after that, you're just gonna be spitting like crazy. And I gotta say, the spit works really well. It works just as well as the water repellent. And we never run out of spit, right? So this thing comes in at $70, and the cool thing about it is that if you take off these clips, ah, you can now replace your dome. Two of these will set you back $40, which is a good price considering the whole dome costs $70. It's got a rubber ring around the actual dome, so you put it into place nice and neatly, close this down, and you start clicking. You gotta make sure they're all in place because sometimes they're a little bit fiddly and they might not get on completely right. So you just gotta, gotta make sure you get them in nice and tight. Otherwise there will be leakage, which you don't want. I mean, it's not, not, not gonna actually cause your GoPro any harm because the GoPro is waterproof, but it's gonna render using the dome useless. Now, sticking the GoPro in is easy. The whole area is hard plastic. It's like that kind of marine grade plastic, but the actual inside has got this bit of rubber silicone, so it's really snug around the lens, so no water gets in. And you're just gonna push the head in a little bit. When it's in there, you're gonna clamp it down. So you're gonna get this little clamp, clamp it down, and boom, that is it. Now, I'm a little bit sad they didn't include this handle, which is gonna be one of the best handles I've actually used for the GoPro. So you can go and buy yourself the bobber. I have the original bobber here, and that's a, it's, it's, it's a cool one. If your GoPro does float away, you're gonna just see it, you know, it's, it's, it's yellow. You can also get the handler from GoPro, which is really cool, and it's not expensive either. <sighs> beautiful, beautiful dome. It really is beautiful. GoPro did send this to me, free of charge, by the way. GoPro? Polar Pro. Polar Pro GoPro. There's something going on there. 
So, um, thanks to you guys for sending it to me to, to review, check out, and put in some water. There is a problem though. It's Poland, the lakes are all frozen, I don't live anywhere near the sea, which is probably a little bit chilly at the moment. So, I bought a fish tank, and we're going to stick this in a fish tank, which is probably the first time it's going to be done. And I'm going to show you what it looks like, and what angles you can use to get the best shots like I showed you at the beginning. You're going to ask me straight away, Phil, what do we need one of these for? Can't I just put the GoPro in the water and get the water line? Mm -mm. No, no, especially in the sea when it's... In a swimming pool, maybe, could still be a little bit hard. In a fish tank, probably, you're not going to get the same effect. This guy will go 10 meters underwater. There goes the, um, the plug. And it will also give you about 30 degree wider perspective whilst using it underwater diving. I'm going to show you in the fish tank right now what this looks like halfway through and you're going to see the effect and then we're going to put on the 50-50 um, dome from Polar Pro and we're going to put it in the fish tank and then you're going to see the effect of what it's like and you can actually angle it down you can angle it up which I think is called a fish bowl or something and you can get 50-50 well, that's why it's called 50-50. You're getting 50% underwater, 50% above water. And those are really great shots. They look stunning, especially if you have like a model or some cool guy there. <sighs> Let's jump in there, into the fish tank. Let's fish around and let me show you what this looks like. Right, guys. Let's get into this. First shot I'm going to show you is the shot with only the GoPro, just to prove to you that this, you can do it, but it is nowhere near as beautiful as using the dome. And a couple more things. Make sure that the case, when you're using it, is very securely attached. All the latches are closed. Make sure that it is very sunny, or else it's gonna be pretty dark under the water. If you have the sun at 12 o'clock, one, one o'clock, then it's coming straight down through the water, just blasting through and you're getting a lot of light. If you're doing it in the morning or the late afternoon, it's just all going to be very dark and it's going to be very underexposed. Let me turn on my GoPro. Let's press record. There we go. And let me show you what this looks like. And trying to, trying to angle it right. So for example, that is the fishbowl. That's very difficult. Trying to angle it is almost impossible. I mean, the 50-50 just, it's, you can do it, but this water is extremely still. So there is a possibility, a small possibility, that you can actually do that. And it's only very tiny, but if we stick it in here, I wanna show you guys how beautiful this looks. I am filming the whole time. Let's get it in here. And now check that out. If I get some waves going on here, look. And it, it looks really, really stunning any way you look at it. Beautiful. Right, let me get some shots off. So we have the 50-50. There we go. We have the fishbowl, so 70% underneath. That's cool for coral reefs and if you have not much interesting things going on in the sky. And now we're going to do the submarine, which is pretty difficult because you have to face it up and you can't see the screen, so you might have to snorkel to get that shot. Or you could just pop off a few shots to get it. So, would I recommend this? Yes, I would. I think it's absolutely awesome. The rubber seal, by the way, you can take it out just to dry it if you need to. rain -X, if you do want to use it, now that this is replaceable, I guess you can. You just If it gets ruined, you just buy yourself a new one. I, I'm, I'm still not sure. Hopefully Polar Pro can comment below and let us know if we can use rain -X on these new ones. Remember, make sure everything's tight, locked down, and it's gonna be fine. And as you saw, the comparisons between not using the dome, which is extremely difficult, and will not work unless you're in a fish tank with no moving water, and using the dome are incredibly different. This will actually work really well in the sea with waves. Actually, waves will make it look even cooler. 
Any questions at all about this awesome system from Polar Pro, the 5050, do drop them in the comments below. I'm gonna try and get back to every single one of you. If you like my film and it helps you purchase one of these via the affiliate link below, give me a thumbs up. And if you like my film, subscribe, because this year's, it's gonna be off the hook. I promise you, this year is gonna be off the hook. <sighs> <laughs> I, I, it's the beginning of the year. Have a great year. Have a fantastic 2021.